Welcome back. Final episode for Close Encounter with the Dinosaur. Next week we'll start with Close Encounter. Bed time. Now, as you guys couldn't see in that episode, but you'll see it in the next one when we do Close Encounter with Fame. There's a giant spider that walks past their campsite. Now, as I was pointing out in last week's episode, where we are here, looking down at the ground, we point out, you know, hey, look, there's a footprint over here and over here and over here and whatnot. We actually didn't put out any footprints except for a couple of them because you didn't end up seeing them anyways. And it was just a waste of time. Um, so we sort of follow it up this river. And fortunately this time we didn't get, we were filming here just a month ago from the date I'm recording the behind the scenes here. We actually ran into a couple of school groups that were out on whatever, so they were making all sorts of noise. This is a cool spot right here where we are. Um, I was going to do a bit more uh, CGI work with the dinosaur that you're actually going to see it chasing them and things like that. And I don't know how to use Blender, which is what my brother uses. Um, so in the next episode with uh, Fame, you see it a little bit more, um, not a bunch. Um, time is the enemy of all man. Um, my ankle is now perfectly fine from the previous day. During the takes of this spot right about here, I was always losing, I've got a knife on my side, and it was always falling out of its holster and be, all right, stop, stop, stop. You gotta redo that take, I lost my knife. Um, we collapsed our tent extremely fast. And we, you know, we're scared. We saw this giant monster. We run and hide and leave the jungle. And hit so, town. I would like yeah, to show on the you what we way found. too fast. Here um, are the pictures taken by Roger in our remote location. We uh, decide to talk to whatever news agency, and that's almost the end. We actually have quite a bit more of credits. So then these clips. We filmed directly after we filmed the previous spots, um, but it's sort of to show this isn't the end of the story. You know, there's another episode coming after it where we go back. Um, the inspiration that I had for this, which I wanted to be a little bit better, but it didn't quite play off how I was expecting, is with the old Rocky and Bowinkle, where you have, you know, the story, whatever happens, you know, they're sinking in their boat and they're like, well, is this, you know, them sinking or is this something else? And then when you watch after what would be a commercial break or, you know, their other little story inside there, you go back, you know, a couple of minutes in the previous show and they redo, you know, all the animation, everything, and the story itself actually changes. That's what I was trying to get. Didn't quite get that. And... Basically, that's it. Story development by me. Different credits. The dinosaur animation was done by... Uh, I can't even see it there. Creation Studios. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next week.